Well met, Arisen. I'll not waste time on rhetoric. Defeat me, and take my place as Keeper of this world. You saw it awaiting you at the end of your descent. Aye, the same world you've traveled to arrive at this place. A world you may well now inherit. It is a simple proposition, no different than any you faced. You need only the will to claim what is offered you. The will to survive. Fight, Arisen! You ere have fought in coming here! What is it that impels you? What force spurs you on? What sustained your wanderings and led you here? I ask you, what is it that makes you alive? Tis volition, unbending will. You are here because you willed it, Arisen. That alone has brought you here. Just as you call forth forms, so I command all life into existence. Call it divine creation if you must, but expect none of the mercy men seek in their gods. This is cold truth, the unbending reality of a world without compassion. The world and all its denizens are but empty vessels. In that regard, no different than the pawns. Without volition, there is no true life. The world falls stagnant, dead as an ocean with no current to guide it. That volition is tempered by the struggle for survival. The decision, just like yours, to fight. Just as the pawns need a master's command, so the world thirsts for the will to live. Continue, Arisen. Show that you are more than an empty vessel, animated by forces unseen. Show that the temper of your soul is strong enough to command far more than mere pawns. Show that your will is fit to bind the fraying circle of this world and hold it fast. Fight tooth and claw. Struggle now and cling to life. Show that living holds worth enough to fight for! It is time to decide. Will you claim your right as a risen? Or shrug the burden and seek peace in oblivion? Just so. One foot after the next, come what may. That is what it means to live. Turn back now and I will grant you a merciful death. The choice is yours, Arisen. Yours alone. Tis a simple choice, Arisen. 
step forward or retreat. Accept the quiet emptiness of a false peace, a false life. Then you would choose peace. That too is a valid fate. Then fear has bested you as well. So be it. Go and seek your peace. Your guttering beacon in the churning dark. And I shall await the coming of the next. to it. The praises of the quiet life are sung far too infrequent. Oh. Ah. <coughs> That's a mite harsh, I Ever the noble one, you. <coughs> Go. There is naught to be gained from my words now. Indeed, heed no voice but your own. You're not without a home to return to. I am. What is it drives you so? My, my! <laughs> Tis too great an honor for one of my stature. Why this hesitation, sir? You've ought to protect, do you not? This... This is your answer, then? Temper your soul in its heat. 
the forge of my heart grows cold. The world shivers yet. Oh, this is merciless. Cold and empty for all its beauty. It is an ever turning wheel, perfect beyond compare. Arisen, forgive me. All I've done is to test your will. It is the fate of all Arisen. You and I are swept up in the current, same as the rest. Each tempers the volition of the next, and the endless cycle continues. And so, until the coming of a new soul fit to craft the will to live, someone like you. Until that day, may you guide the world ever justly. Spain blade. Those who arise to oversee this world are undying, save by this brand's kiss. I ask that you, as the world's new solution, use it now to vouchsafe Read up to your weary servant. Even we who traverse the rift do not care what lies beyond. New crown sovereign and keeper of eternity. Grant me now this single boon. The fire of my life is spent in guttering. Give me freedom with the kiss of the god's paint blade. If there is aught you wish to know before my death, you need but ask. My knowledge, as my own, is yours to take. What would you hear of me? The Seneschal is steward to the world. The world you traveled now rests in your care. Just as the Arisen calls Pawn into being and sets them to motion, the Seneschal holds dominion over all living things. There are those who would call such a being Maker, or God. 
I cannot deny the claim any more than affirm it. In the end, they are but words. Call it what you will. Such is the office I have served, just as those before me and you beyond unto eternity. New crowns. The fire. If there is aught you wish to know, my knowledge as my own. The pawns exist astride the rift. They speak of a multitude of worlds, each infinite unto itself. Limitless in span and lost to time, these worlds extend in an eternal, perfect loop. Just as a ring lacks start and end, so this world has no origin, no final terminus. If it does, they lie beyond our ken. We are prisoners of unpassing time, wandering an unending land. What lies beyond, we cannot know. No. If there is aught you wish, my knowledge as my own. Aye, there is life in the world, and with it death. Naught lasts forever. Each rises and falls in its time. But such is a death akin to that of ponds. They appear in this world and vanish only to appear again, like bubbles in a mountain spring. As so it is with all that lives within this eternal world. In time, you will come to see it happen under your watch, Miss Sinisha. Each beast, each blade of grass, each human life is born to die and be born again in endless rhythm. Not lasts forever, yet all persists unto eternity. Rip. New crown sword. If there is aught, my knowledge as my all. Will is that which led you to this place, and that which turns the eternal wheel of the world. Along the endless string of life and death, there are some born with a hunger. They yearn for some other, better place. They are the arisen, nascent fountainheads of will. And so the dragon is sent into the world to guide the arisen, and refine them, to temper their wills into aught capable of sustaining the world. And so the cycle of our world has ere continued. New crown. If there is aught you wish to know for my death, you need but ask. Mourn me not, for I welcome the release. At long last, I am free of eternity, of infinity, free of the cruel, unending ring.
you. I've given up hope of seeing you again, in any form. It's clear that forces beyond my ken are at work here. But I'll ask no questions. Not today. <laughs>